Yeah, you're cool. Peace out the bots. <laughs> Bot down. There are early versions of Merc Park. Well, that's cool. <laughs> I'd hate to see, like, an even worse version of Merc Park considering that's already not a great map. Also, ow. Thank you. You fucking idiot! You fool! Yeah, you gotta learn somehow. Communism jump scare. It is very scary. I'm so sorry, Beans! I'm so fucking sorry! I was every kunai spy ever to Beans. He was the one guy that was actually bothering to shoot at me. And I was that kunai spy who's just, like, backstabbing my way through a fucking horde of teammates that are too stupid to turn around. But granted, like, three of those dudes legit were standing still. That's not really the problem. It's not like, oh, Spy's an overpowered class. Look at all these people I can kill instantly with my backstabs because they're standing still. Like, no. The problem is poor fucking Beans was shooting rocket after rocket after rocket at me. And it's just like, it didn't fucking matter because there were enough brainless idiots standing perfectly still that, like, <laughs> he's just wasting his time and ammo. He had to wait until I ran out of, like, teammates to backstab. Before he could finally kill me. Hello, free health. I mean, sniper. Really? <sighs> Fucking pyros, man. I'm t like, whether you're playing with the kunai or against the kunai, I'm telling you, your teammates are your worst fucking enemy. That's the conclusion I've come to. Like... I, I challenge everyone watching this stream to find a situation where I died specifically because I was using the kunai. Now I can tell you for certain, I lived there because I was using the kunai. Hi, Beans. Okay. I'm so sorry. Ah! God damn it. Ah, uh, the Pog Uber! <laughs> that's, a, that's an Australian. There's an Australian in my server. David K. James. I did just buy Heavy Rain. Because uh, I, I thought that my friend and I would be streaming it at my place, but he didn't end up coming over to my place. So we both ended up buying Heavy Rain. So I now have Omicron the Nomad Soul, Indigo Prophecy, Heavy Rain, and Beyond Two Souls. The I think the only one I'm missing is Detroit Become Human. And I don't know if I want to play that one yet because my friend uh, who is... A, he's, he's a cager, one might say. He's really... He's really looking forward to playing that one. <laughs> Jason! 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 Uh, Fiddler, run! Sean! 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 Look at my roommate, Drew. Look at this adorable little guy. And you can commission her. You can do it. Where can you find this art? Follow my roommate on Twitter. Ask her, give her money. <laughs> give her money right now. <laughs> but yeah, between like Silent Hill 2 Remake being 
fucking dead on arrival as far as I'm concerned with there. We're updating the horror factor for modern contemporary audiences. Like, so what you're telling me is you think that the horror factor of this iconic horror game is dated? You think it needs to be updated? That is what you're telling me. Ah, oh, fucker. Oh, we're, we're staying faithful to the original, but updating the scares for modern, uh, modern contemporary... Uh, what, where was that fucking tweet? Where's that fucking tweet? I'm so pissed off right now. Yeah, the Silent Hill 2 remake aims to be faithful, but will adjust scare factors for contemporary audiences. Fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, are, are we going to get Silent Hill Outlast or Five Nights at Silent Hill? What's it going to be? Which is which is the direction we're going to be going in to update the game for, for modern, contemporary audiences? That and just everything involving fucking Bloober Team and all of their shit just completely tanks all of my faith whatsoever in this in this remake. You're telling me that what visual uh, that what Bloober has done with the visuals isn't an improvement? I mean, from a fidelity standpoint, I suppose. I'm just talking about, like, what the emotion of the scene is trying to convey, right? A lot of the subtlety, like, not to say that, oh, hey, this imagery of James fiddling around with a hangman's noose is particularly subtle when one of the endings is, by the way, you fucking kill yourself. <laughs> what I'm saying is he wasn't looking at it with really big, really exaggerated, very, very sad eyes. Like, there's no longer any room for interpretation on what James is thinking or what he's feeling in this. No, he's very, very sad. If James didn't want to be sad, maybe he shouldn't have killed his wife. <laughs> oh, man. Should have thought about that one, idiot. Maria, this town is straight bussin'. Sheesh. Oh. Oh, God! Holy shit! Oh my god, aerial combat! Oh no! No! The short stop show, we made it good! Opinion on High on Life? I have not seen a single clip from the game that made me laugh. So, uh, again, if that's the kind of humor that is in Rick and Morty, then holy shit, Rick and Morty is not a funny show. Like, I, I, I feel like I could probably get a somewhat similar experience in a lot of first-person shooters that don't have the Morty guy doing the Morty voice in my fucking ear for like 12 hours. Oh, oh man, you just you just shot that guy. Oh, that's that's really nuts. Holy shit, that guy's dead. Uh, do, do you really do, do you think it's uh, kind of crazy how how we just kind of gloss over shooting people in a video game like that? Like that guy's dead. He he probably had like a family and everything, but but you just you just murdered him. Like it's going to be that for 12 fucking hours. I can't handle that. No, thank you. Fucking nailed it. <laughs> Good. I'm glad I was able to fucking nail the stupid Rick and Morty humor through pure osmosis. Oh man, I'm really laying down that point with the with the meta commentary, aren't I? And and and, and I got I got to stutter a lot too, cause. You know, if, if you if you stutter a lot, that makes your dialogue seem more naturalistic and not just like like um like like people have a, have a major speech impediment. The last of a show that was announced, um, I think it got spammed in my Twitter feed so fucking much that now through sheer overexposure, I never want to hear anything about it ever again. But um, my thoughts on it before that happened was, wow, they really don't want anyone to look like the characters from the game, do they? Like, internally, over at HBO or wherever the fuck. It's just like, yeah. Um. Don't let them look anything like they do in the game. Yeah, don't... Don't let them look like they do in the game. Don't let them see anything from the game. Don't do it. There's an argument that it's not like a book because the actors will have an expectation for, for, for a performance they have to match. Um... You mean the critically acclaimed performance that everyone loved? It's not like they're gonna try and do the fucking voices or something. Unless the fucking Mando guy is just, like, gonna do his best Troy Baker impression, which will at least be funny to watch. Like, this isn't an issue we've had to deal with for, you know, remaking movies for a very, very long time. You know what I mean? 
Last of Us 2 is just a moral lesson instead of a story. Yeah, revenge is bad. Guys, revenge is bad. Revenge leads to a cycle where, you know, a person does a bad thing and then another person gets revenge on them, but you just kind of have to let them get away with it, no matter how narratively unsatisfying it is. Yeah, if you're Abby, you should be allowed to get away with revenge. If you're not Abby, then uh, don't even try. I feel like this just makes Medic a really good spy checker in general now. Because, like, ooh! Like, on top of the crossbow making the, uh, the damage indication when it hits someone, you also have the syringe guns, which you're encouraged to shoot your teammates with. Where the fuck do you come from? Boy? Look at those crit heals go. Ah! No! Oh, Amputator has the same rate of healing as the Medigun, even with the crit heals. Oh. Oh, that's a huge Amputator buff, then. Just, like, fucking spray into the crowd and then just go. Yeah, damn. Crit heals. Seventy-eight! I'm going in, boys! Yes, I have heard about Velma. Ow. Um, I feel like I've had more people ask me about this shitty new Velma show than I have had ask me about, like, the giant-ass TF2 leak in this stream. And that honestly concerns me, because Velma will have zero cultural impact on anything whatsoever. Everyone will forget that this show even existed in, like, two weeks. Like, max. Yeah, more important question. Have I seen Puss in Boots 2? Yes, I have. It's very good. It's been a very long time since I've seen, like, just a really nice, solid animated movie where it's just, like, this doesn't have horrible glaring problems in it. Like, yeah, I have hope for Shrek 5 now. That's crazy. I never, I never expected it. And yet here we are, in the timeline, where Shrek 5 of all things has a chance of actually being really good. See, this is a great time to use the Amputator when we're, um, spawn camping. Yeah, like, Puss in Boots 2 has changed my opinions on Villain Bloat, of all things. Like... God damn, apparently, juggling three villains is not as difficult as Spider-Man 3 would have you believe if fucking Puss in Boots is able to do it right. And, like, there are three completely different types of villains, too. You've got one that is, like, literally a force of nature. You've got, like, <laughs> the completely irredeemable one, who's also great comedic relief. It's great. It's just a great movie. On top of that, it's like really funny. The action scenes are all great. Like shit, man. Where you been, DreamWorks? We missed you. It's not just like, oh, hey, they're doing the Spider-Verse thing where it's all like stylistic and they're playing around with the frame rate. Like the shit they do with the perspective sometimes is really awesome. Like... Oh, uh, you could tell that just so much, like, fucking care and attention went into making this movie. Like, the animators poured every bit of their heart and fucking soul into it. And I- I can see that. And I greatly appreciate it. As someone who just, like, likes good animated movies. Would I say it's DreamWorks best? I wouldn't say that because Prince of Egypt exists. I mean, like, I'd say it could beat out Shrek 2 potentially. Maybe not, like... Obviously, Shrek 2 has the benefit of being, like long-lasting it's sort of got this iconography to it it has a couple of problems i don't know what major problems 
the Puss in Boots movie has, except it starts off, a, like, it, it's a little bit slow. Just to start off, though. Like, right towards the beginning. Well, not, like, right at the beginning, because the beginning is fucking bombastic. First ten minutes of the movie are just, like, a fucking roller coaster ride, and it's awesome, and Puss in Boots is, like, doing Shadow of the Colossus shit. It's fucking cool. But after that point, it slows down a little bit, but it's, like... It's very purposeful slowing down. So I can't blame the movie too much for it. It's just like, you know, that's that's something you could consider a problem if you were so inclined. Yeah, it's like a scene of slowdown. Just the scene that takes up a lot of the trailer, actually, where it's just like, oh, Puss in Boots is living at the cat retirement home. That's it. Aside from that, the pacing is, like, fucking perfect. Crazy I was able to completely predict the whole Goldilocks side arc thing and you still be able to be invested by it. Like, yeah, it's not like a movie that's just like, oh man, it's doing shit you ain't never seen before. But what it does, it does really fucking well. And I greatly appreciate that. When it's like so many movies lately, especially from places like Disney, are just, they're completely butchering what should be such simple plots. It's a movie that, like, Sets out to do what it sets out to do and does a good damn fucking job at it. It knows exactly what it wants to be. And then over at Disney you got movies like Frozen 2. What the hell was that movie trying to be? What were you trying to accomplish? They don't even know. The people who made the movie could not tell you. Also, like, from the trailers alone, I don't know if anyone else thought that the dog character was going to be annoying. He was surprisingly not. Like, I was surprised by how endeared I was to him. I almost felt like I was kind of right there with Puss in Boots, where it's just like, oh, I think I go in thinking I'm going to fucking hate this guy. But then at the end, it's like, oh, you know what? He's actually pretty cool. He he's, a he's a nice little dude. I was like, why is this not annoying me? Like, it's so easy to fuck up a character like that. And yet he ends up being one of the one of the many highlights of the movie. Because it's a movie with multiple highlights. Fuck! It's just really good. Yeah, Puss in Poots 2 is a great movie. Go see it in theaters. This is not sponsored. We'll see what we get. Oh. It took a while to get something, but uh, we got there eventually. Come on, something good. Something good. Oh my god, why? Like, what are the, what are the good ones? Raving Dead and Hell Driver. Those are the ones I want. I don't think I've gotten, like, a single one of those. Nope. Got a strange factory new one of those. Don't need another. <sighs> and it's just a backpack expander. And that's just paint. Damn. There's $10 down the drain. <laughs> Got him. George H.W. Bush Gaming. You helped kill John F. Kennedy. Thought that was who did 9-11? No, that was his son, George W. Bush. George H.W. Bush was, a. Uh... Let's see, he was... I believe Ronald Reagan's vice president as well. Uh, when he got shot. But, you know, Ronald Reagan actually lived. He was former CIA director. But before that, he was in Dallas the day that uh, JFK was shot. And then he basically groomed his sons into being politicians. And then uh, his son, George W. Bush, became president and did 9-11. Just watch Kitty History. It explains everything. Bison gaming with the bison. Give it a twirl. I kind of can't. Not without... Ugh. It's it's not designed to twirl. I'm going to fucking do it. I'm gonna do it. No, I'll take 20 damage. Ah. I wish there was a stand for it. Oh, hi, Sylvie. 
Puchis. I tripped. Don't worry about it. Oh. Look at the wiggly baby. You smell like pee. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Why is the laser so slow? Because in the future, lasers will be slower and weaker than bullets. Yeah, not to mention slower and weaker than arrows from the fucking Paleolithic period. Thank you, Doctor. <laughs> I did it. I fucking aimed. <gasps> Gimme! Oh, all right. Um, he was fucking. He's so overhealed. Got him. Damn it. If I was playing anything else, that would be dominating. <laughs> I got like the whole package. I'm like the TF2 YouTuber with the crits me medic sho shoved up my ass. But I'm using the bison. That Okay. Got him eventually. And that was the sweaty scout. So no tears are shed for him. Oh god. Is that a fucking backup? You need my bison to do even less damage? Why do you hate me? Bro. Look at all these bison shots going out. I've converted the server. Gotta concentrate. Go concentrate. And not on me shitting. Shitting? I'm, I'm shitting right now. I'm cramping over here. Who's with me? A challenge. Say every Morshu line from memory. No cheating. Okay. Uh, that's... That, uh, he only has like two lines, right? It's like... Lamp oil. Rope? Bombs? You want it? It's yours, my friend. As long as you have enough rubies. Sorry, Link. I can't give credit. Come back when you're a little... Mmm... Richer. I mean, that's it, right? It's not like... That, Morshu is the shop guy. It's not like you're asking me to do the fucking squad a lot guy. Because that would be way harder. Fuck off. Like, honestly, I don't know why this game's going way better. Maybe I just, like, had my practice run. Got him. I don't know why I didn't get the kill sound for that, but... Med's dead, because of course he is. Got him! I hit him with the old, I sure am running away. And now we're on a three streak. Rewatched the mystery of the druids and forgot how insane Halligan was. Bro, Halligan's great. It's like... It's almost enough to be, like, a deconstruction of, like, the, the typical adventure game protagonist, where you're just, like, going around stealing a bunch of shit and fucking a bunch of people over. But it's all taken, like, it, it's all played straight. Like, poisoning the homeless dude to take his fucking change. That was a double, by the way. Oh my god. Favorite Scooby-Doo film, animated or otherwise? I feel like... I feel like I was most partial to the witch's ghost. That's a fun one. It's got Tim Curry. It's got the hex girls. It can't be bad. The zombie island is like also a very good one. Like it's probably the most normie pick for like, oh, best Scooby-Doo thing. But like, you know, there's a good reason for that. Like I, I, I just see no reason to judge people for liking something that is generally very well accepted as being the best like especially if it's something that has a lot of thought put into it just by like you know the people who like that sort of thing like a lot of star wars fans can probably tell you of, of many different reasons why empire is their favorite or why it's the best one and it's like yeah that all adds up Same with Scooby-Doo fans in Zombie Island, you know? 
It was from the real fans who really get it, then it's like, hell yeah. Like whatever you want for whatever reasons you like. Okay. <laughs> Listen, the, the kunai is different because I hate it. Bad Weapon Academy, Real World Musket. Honestly, I think, like, Real World Bad Weapon Academy would be, like, a funny concept. I could do, like, nunchucks and shit. How does one use nunchucks? Without just, like, you know, fucking killing themselves. Nunchucks in a pass. Talk about gunchucks. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. It's just all mall ninja shit. I mean, like, maybe there'd be some weird ones. Like... Hang the fuck on. <laughs> Look at it! <laughs> Whose idea was the... <laughs> the Weezer gun? For when you need to shoot all four members of Weezer at the same time. <laughs> Got him! That's my fucking second invisible spy bison kill. Or maybe my third. I don't even know. Okay. Jesus. Chill, sniper. Jesus, chill! They're just baby! Chill! Matt underscore viewpoint scale... Viewport scale 0 0.1. Alright, what the fuck is this gonna do? 0 0.3. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, it's awful. Undo. No. Undelete. Help. So I said it's a 0 0.05. I'm gonna do it. Oh, oh my god. Who would play like this? Oh, I have a headache looking at this. Alright. <laughs> Our goal is to get a double donk like this. Oh god, I'm I'm fucking Oh god. Okay. I think I see where I have to go. Is this what it's like for people who need glasses? Well, I got a kill. What the fuck? <laughs> I can't... Okay, we got a double dog. Thank you, Gibby. Is that a sticky? I can't even... Or is that a sniper dog? I can't tell! What is anything? How low can it go? Let's find out, boys! <laughs> <laughs> oh god, we've entered the other space! Help! How can you have a Mexican roommate and be racist at the same time? I Guys, have no idea. I, I, I really don't know. I hate to be the one to break this to you, but I'm I'm actually only racist as a joke. <laughs> I'm very sorry. If you followed me because you thought I was actually racist. Bye. I'm very sorry. <laughs> I, I hate to disappoint you. We all know you're an actress because Fish would never voluntarily interact with a woman. Guys, I hate to be the one to break this to you. I'm also only sexist as a joke. That was not a backstab, but okay. Also, what? Am I insane or did I did that engineer just straight up not fucking exist until he shot me? I swear to god, all like I don't know if that was tunnel vision, all I saw was a dispenser. My my brain is full of fucking like frozen peas. Oh jeez, I freaking love eating lead paint. 